What's poppin', y'all? You rockin' with Jiggy Jones, and listen, we got a special guest in the building. Yeah. Our brother is here, yeah. our brother is home, yeah. feel me? Yeah. It's a welcome home moment, welcome home, Fat Trail, yeah, bro. Yeah, my nigga, appreciate it, bro. You Thank already, you already, I appreciate bro. you for having me, too. Of course, of course, now, you are home, yeah. welcome home again. Yeah. Just how, tell me how that feel, feel me? Like, you've been out for, for about six months now. Yeah, Just yeah, like yeah. Just one of the moments where, I know it's like a, like a, like a victory. So, so, so tell me how, how does it feel to be home? Yeah, that's a good way to explain it, bro. I never, I never, I never used that word for a feeling of being home. Yeah, it's definitely a victory. It feel good, you know what I'm saying? Um, just to be back working again, like you know, I miss working, miss being with my kids. You know, we we always gonna miss the simple shit. You know, bitches, parties, club, clothes, putting fashion on, and all that. But like, I really was missing my kids. I really was missing work. I really miss everything, the daily grind. So yeah. you know, it feel good to be back though. Yeah. Now. Now you um, you know when certain things happen in life, certain circumstances, we there, there's no no such thing as a loss. Yeah, it's a lot of lessons. Yeah, in life. yeah, yeah, absolutely. You, know, you, treat, you treat that as a you know the learning experience. Absolutely. After you learn, you take the L out and you earn. Absolutely. Oh, so okay. So so yeah. you feel me? So, yeah, so, so, yeah, doing, so, doing, so during your during your circumstance during your time, like like what was that that point that you really learned, or what is something that you really learned? So now you take the L out so you can start earning. Um, shit, man. When I um, <clears throat> you know, I never, I never, like my whole life growing up, I always told myself I wasn't gonna never get locked up. You know what I'm saying? Like my whole life, I, I was out of all the shit that I was doing and my homies was doing, and compared to the shit that my homies was doing, I was like, man, I ain't getting locked up. You know what I'm saying? So I never really prepared my mind for that lifestyle at all. Period. So when I got there and I realized how long I was gonna be fighting this case, I started going to the law library. So to answer your question. What I learned was law, like criminal law, the justice system, what the judges can do, what the prosecutors can do, and what the police can do. Once I learned that, yeah. I started telling myself, oh, I started looking at life really different. Like, it's really set up for us to really, like, lose easily. You know what I'm saying? So every day in life, you know, I feel like African Americans is the super underdog, and we already down by like 28 points. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We come in the game down by yeah, 28. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? So what I learned was, man, how to move out here, mm -hmm. and, and and what I needed to do once I was released again. So that's what that's that's what I learned, and then um, so I take that what I learned, and back to what you said, I want to use that on the streets every day. So I can earn more paper. I can earn more paper by being home and being available. The best ability is availability. Facts. And I can't be an asset if I'm in prison. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's uh, what I learned. Thousand percent. You speaking the assets. Yeah. Um, one of your biggest assets is your music, obviously. Absolutely. So, yeah. so, so I don't value nothing more than my family more than I value my music. There you go. Yeah. That, that's your art. That's your expression. Absolutely. Did you? Did you? Is there some rhyme books that you that you have with you? Um, during that time, or, 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 or what was uh, what was keeping you just just motivated? Um, I, I I ain't have a rhyme book, right? I, I I used to just write raps, send them home, and all that like that. But when people ask me, was I writing every day? I really wasn't. You mm. know what I'm saying? I, it wasn't a writing. Always came when something hit me, or when a certain feeling hit me yeah. in prison. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, to answer that question, like. I, I when I record, I really like just punch in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I've been doing that for so long that like uh, second I, nature. Yeah, 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 second nature. Like I ain't, I ain't really had to write a lot in there, but you know, it was too much shit other shit going on in there to be to be writing a lot, man. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? saying? You gotta be focused on head on the swivel at all the mm -hmm. time. You gotta watch these niggas and the police. So, mm -hmm. you know, it was just too much going on. Yeah, no, definitely. But you uh back home obviously <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, hometown DC. Absolutely. Shout, shout out to DC. Shout out to the DMV. You not, now when people, you know, I, I got a couple homies that are from the D, from the um, DMV area. Anytime I say DMV, yeah, they be like, they be like, nah, I'm from Baltimore. Yeah. I'm from Virginia. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm from DC. Like, yeah, yeah. I ain't from DMV. So yeah, yeah. That, that's the type of time. Like, you want to? You just rep the whole. Um. Well, you know, man, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it one hundred with you. Yeah. Like, before I started rapping, mm. AI was on that type of time. Like, don't. Say I'm from the DMV, yeah. and that's a, 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 a Washingtonian thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I understand why. You know, a lot of niggas from Baltimore like always say we're not even included in the DMV. Like 
we in Baltimore. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they just like don't want to rep the state of Facts, Maryland. Yeah. They just rep Baltimore. Well, you know Facts, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And they going hard and get enough money to really do that. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I understand how um, how people feel about it. But as I started rapping and doing business with people all across the world, and I started meeting people from different states, mm-hmm. and I learned that everybody from back home when they was out of town. Somebody asked them where they from, even though they from Virginia, they just be like, oh, I'm from D.C. Yeah, I'm from the D.C. area. Yeah, how you doing? Hey, dude might be from Maryland. Yeah, man. Hey, where you from? I'm from D.C., man. Yeah. I, I meet people out of town. Where you from? I'm from D.C. Mm-hmm. Where, what part of D.C. you from? Mm-hmm. Well, you not living in uh, Upper Marlboro area yeah. or Maryland. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So, you know, the older I get, the more mature I get, I really don't mind. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm at the age where, like, man, I really don't mind. You know, I reps the whole DMV. I got killers in Virginia, D.C., and Maryland, and go. Baltimore. So go. I got spots in all them mm-hmm. places. Bitches in all them places, so I I am the DMV. You know uh, what I'm saying? So it, it is what it is. I don't trip all that. Now one of one of the biggest things out of DC is obviously like the music. Absolutely. Um, Go Go Sound. Absolutely. You know that's uh the 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 only Go Go Sound that I'm really like familiar with, and you, you probably of course you know more because you you're mm-hmm. native of that is um the joint uh. Sexy lady. Yeah. Would you, would you consider that UC, go-go? UCB, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, a, that's a go-go record. Before mm-hmm. Wale took all them records, yeah, it was yeah, a, yeah. original go-go records. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of go-go, they might they might implement industry songs until okay. they set. Okay. But a lot of those go-go songs is original. Like, the singers of the group, they write songs. And mm-hmm. if they're good enough, the band play it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, Sexy Ladies, man, that was that's by UCB. Yeah. That's yeah, UC- UCB. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. UCB, man. Um, my homie Trey, man. Shout out to Trey, man, from UCB. Yeah. He all, all but that little dude you always see on stage with Wale, that singer. Oh, that's, that's Trey. That he the oh, one who crazy. Sing. Yeah, yeah. He sing that. Yeah. So so how how much influence does, does Go Go really go into your music, both both past and um both the present? Because you do have you do have a melodic tone. Absolutely. Um, at the same time, you know, with your bars. Mm-hmm. But but how much do you use like your hometown influence um in, in your music? Every day I get into the studio. DC is in me, it's on me. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I started out with Go Go. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Go Go music, Go Go rap. Like, mm-hmm. that's my first. Were you, were, you, were you in the Go Go band? Yeah, I was. Oh, all right, I was in the Go Go band. I was like in the eighth and ninth grade. Mm-hmm. I was younger shit in the go-go yeah. band. What was you playing? Like you had an instrument? I was a, nah, 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 hell no. Nah. I oh, was right. a, it's, so it's like in the Go Go band, you had a drummer, mm-hmm. the keyboards. You might, some go-go bands got guitars, some, okay. some of them don't. So you got the drummer, mm-hmm. the keyboard, the nigga to play the timbales, mm-hmm. and then you got f- four or three mics. You got the lead. What's a timbali? The timbales is like, so you, you got the drum set over here, yeah. and you got a nigga who played two timbales. Oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Hold, with, okay, the, uh, yeah, yeah. with the drums, okay, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, if I showed you a video, you'd be like, oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah. You probably seen before, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to show you, you know what I'm saying, after this interview yeah. shit. But, um... And then you might have four mics or three mics. Mm-hmm. The lead mic, second mic, rapper and singer. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So I was the rapper. Rapper. That's and tough. Man, That's yeah. tough, man. So as far as to answer your question, as far mm-hmm. as the influence, mm-hmm. go go influence us every day. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And um that's the heartbeat of DC, Thanks. you know what I'm saying, and, and Go Go's is still lit in the city to this day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I believe it. I, I look at it like, uh, cause I'm from Jersey, I'm from Newark, so okay. so you know we got Jersey Club. Uh huh. You know, like like songs like like I just want to rock. Yeah. Uzi joint is like that's that, your type of vibe. Yeah. yeah. But we we like Y'all been, been on, on that. that. I know. Been on that. Right, yeah. 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 And then like the world, like, like one of the homies asked me from he from Atlanta. He like yo. Like that's new. I'm like, nah, like we've yeah, been on that yeah, since I was like that. twelve. Like Absolutely. So so you know, like anytime like a native sound really gets that that mass appeal, yeah. you feel me? It, it definitely bring more more uh, more eyes to the to you know to the city as yeah. you're from. Um do you feel like like Go Go has like enough or there's an artist that, that's really pushing that sound like from the area? Or is that something that maybe like I know I know Wale did Wale did Absolutely. it a lot. Yeah. Um is that something that either Somebody from the area pushing that that want to make it mass appeal, or y'all just kind of just doing it until like that organically happens. Um, I think if I had time to sit here and think, I pretty I'm pretty sure I can name a lot of artists who implemented go go into their music that's yeah. from home. Mm-hmm. But as I sit right here with you today, the, I, I can't think of nobody who did more go go infused music with mm-hmm. their sound mm-hmm. than Wale. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's not no shade to mm-hmm. nobody else from the DMV. I got mm-hmm. a couple records on Go Go Beats, yeah. you know, but Wale just, he do, he crank, he crank it different, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he, he slide, he slide on that, that beat on that wave, just different, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? From, um, 
We had Pretty Girls. Mm -hmm. Was it? Um, oh, that, that's, that's into the go go right there? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Pretty girls, um, shorty, the joint he had with Nicki Minaj, shorty got a big old butt. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Then got he had the song Bait, 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 yeah, yeah. got that big. That's all go go shit. Bro. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I can't think of nobody who implemented go go into their music more than Wale. Yeah. But um, should we have more artists from home implementing go go music into their music? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like we should always share the light on go go because that's where it started. You no, feel me? Cool. Like, I see, I see, for example, I see New York, New York niggas, right? Mm -hmm. Any of the new wave, they always reach back out to the old OG homies yeah. of the New York rap. Gotcha. Like you always seeing um Jim Jones on certain young niggas' mm -hmm. records and mm -hmm. Styles P on mm -hmm. niggas' records and like niggas Kiss, go bro. get Jada Kiss on records because even though like it's a new generation, a new wave, a different vibe, they paying homage. Mm -hmm. Like and them niggas still got bars. So I feel like as Washingtonians, we should always reach out to go go bands and uh, try to us. keep it up to speed. How was your uh relationship with Wale since you came back home? That's Wait, my that's, brother, man. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 why they like family, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's a weird. Uh, a lot of people have different perceptions of Wale, mm -hmm. yeah, but if you really know him, he's a regular nigga. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, like he care a lot about his craft. He care a lot mm -hmm. about his fans. Mm -hmm. He care a lot about his craft, though. Yeah. I don't know no more passionate rapper than Wale, like yeah. that I know personally in real that's, life. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's my brother. That's family. Yeah. He did an interview with uh with Nori, and I know Nori says some, <laughs> says some wacky. You know what I mean? like, Nori says some wacky shit. Yeah, man. Shout, shout out to Nori, man. I, I don't know. I don't know if y'all spoke since since he said that. Yeah. Since he said that, but yeah. Um, I, but I, people, you know, people think that I was mad at Nori for what he said. Mm -hmm. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Because he ain't, he ain't, he ain't say no incriminating shit. Okay. You know what I'm Is saying? Like the talk, or you felt like. It was definitely the liquor talk. You could you could see that Nori was drinking. drink a lot on this. Right, right. But during the interview, after so many drinks, he's starting to get twisted. Like yeah. the camera starts to become a, just another nigga in the room. Yeah, yeah. You see that's, what I'm saying? Like, and I ain't, I ain't mad at Nori. Nori, my dog, man. We didn't been in some real life situations. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not. I ain't mad at Nori, man. I don't. <laughs> People was talking about statute of limitations and shit. I don't know nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, so I ain't mad at Nori, though. Yeah. He ain't say no state we was in or you know, where he was at or nothing. Well, like, I ain't that. mad at Nori. Well, I bet, yeah. Well, well longest, because at the end of the day, it's all about unity. Like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like, I ain't, you know, I, I I got niggas in Far Rock, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got niggas in Queens and Hollis, and I got young niggas from Brooklyn, man, years ago. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I be in. The Bronx on Park Avenue, Cortland Project. Everywhere. I be down 155th in Amsterdam and Harlem. Mm. I'm I'm very New York and I've been coming here for years. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? I got spots in New York, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't gonna never be, I ain't gonna never allow somebody to plant a seed in my head to feel some type of way about, especially an OG nigga from New York. Yeah, that's a and fact. you know, I feel like the internet is the internet, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. You got people who could make fake profiles and say what they want. That's true. So it's a lot of comments where somebody gonna say, Man, that nigga, that nigga said some hot ass shit, man. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's always a New York. I, I ain't on that. Yeah, you exactly. know what I'm saying? I know good stand up real niggas from New York, right, right. and I know where Nori was coming from. Yeah, okay. <laughs> say, say less, say less. Yeah. Now I know, you know, um, during your time, you know, your your, your brother in the passing. Yeah, uh, man. Rest in, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Boosie, man. Yeah, rest in peace, my condolences yeah. as well. And I know you uh, did a project. That was dedicated to him. Absolutely, did, did, yeah. Did a project or some songs? No, nah, it's a project. Okay, I got okay. a whole project called Boosters Keeper, man. Mm -hmm. That's like my Boosters Keeper is real, real delicate to me. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, even when we go meet with the label and they be wanting to hear certain records, when they ask to hear records all Boosters Keeper, I might play them too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's but it's like delicate. Yeah, it's yeah, real delicate. Yeah. But for, so far for Boosters Keeper, I probably got like 14 to 17 records. Oh, yeah, you know what so I'm saying? That I just project, got. Yeah, because the project is basically everything that we did, mm -hmm. everything that we plan to do, mm -hmm. all the conversations that we had while I was in prison, yeah. and where he where he wanted to see me at, and also where I wanted to see him at. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. he rapped too, okay. but Busa was just a real street nigga. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It was really, 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 really. He was talented. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? His views went up. Busa first video ever did six hundred thousand views. Yeah. A street nigga. We was in the back of the woods with some North Faces and some guns. You know what I'm saying? But the yeah. city knew that he was so well known in the mm -hmm. city from they the streets that they supported mm -hmm. him. But it was just hard to get Busa out the streets. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So 
Um, I, I, I wanted to see him in better places too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, money, cars, bitches, clothes, jewelry, everything. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to see him turn that into some bigger shit. Like, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. when I when I look at Busa, when I look at French Montana and his history, yeah. and how he like piece by piece by piece by piece, mm -hmm. I wanted that for Busa. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause he deserved that good father, yeah. real nigga, mm -hmm. loyal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, so Busa keep is real is is real special to me, man, because yeah. I, I'm pouring my soul into that. Right. Yeah, I ain't just making records. I ain't just making trap records, club records, stripper records. Booze Akiva is that shit come from the soul. Uh, definitely, yeah. I, I know, know he'll definitely be proud. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I know he's looking down on me. That's why yeah. I, every day I step, I I step like he with me. I, yeah. You know, I walk like he with me. I talk like he with me. You know what I'm saying? I gotta yeah. move like I gotta stay militant. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Now, now I know, you know, back then you was uh signed with MMG. Yeah. Shout out to Rose, mm -hmm. you know, Meek, everybody uh, down there. Absolutely. Um, I know, I know you linked with Ross when you first came. Absolutely, came, came home. How, how was that feeling? Just seeing, seeing one of the big homies. You know that that you know that you really held shit down with. Y'all was running around. I remember when um, uh, back then it was like I mean y'all did the 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 shit remix, the future yeah. shit, mm -hmm. and I know you opened the verse on that. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you like <laughs> being the homies like riding around smoking <laughs> smoking to that verse like. That, that was the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the shit. So, appreciate that, it. That, 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 you know, back then, that's when, like, the labels, like, they had good music, yeah, MMG, yeah, yeah. Young Money, Cash Money. It was uh, like, everybody was, everybody, everybody had their own team, yeah, but yeah. it was still like, yeah. everybody could do a feature. And niggas was going song, crazy. And everybody was going crazy. Yep. So how was that feeling, just to get that, get, getting that embracement from Rose, you coming back home? It's always a, 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 a beautiful feeling to um, get embraced by somebody like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because... Excuse me, he's such a visionary, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he always working on the future. He always working on the next big thing. Yeah. I don't know nobody who hustle harder or smoke more than Rose, bro. <laughs> like, I just haven't met a nigga. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so to be embraced by him, that's that's everything to me. Like I tell everybody, Ross gave me my first check. You know what I'm saying? So music aside, yeah. we got a different. Yeah, that's a fact. Situation, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You remember how much that check was? Check was yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember how much it was. But you know, mm -hmm. like I tell, I've been, I've been telling people all the time. Like when I first signed, I was like 20, 21, I believe. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that Dang. out my check, out my advance, that the lawyer, the lawyer who broke the deal, mm -hmm. had to get a cut. My accountant yeah. had to get a cut. Mm -hmm. My manager had to get a cut. Oh, and taxes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't. <clears throat> I never played with Rose. Mm -hmm. My check wasn't what I thought it was going to be as a young nigga. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But he gave me my first. Yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's Before, right, there. right, 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 yeah. right. And, and I and I tell niggas all the time, I'm a real nigga, bro. I was so crummy growing up. I never had more than. Thirty thousand dollars of my own money before rap. Like I ain't one of them niggas who came in the rap and was like, "Yeah, hundred bands on me, bitch." I'm a yeah, <laughs> nah. I cap. wasn't on that. Yeah, I yeah. wasn't on that. Yeah. I was telling the truth about uh, yeah, nigga. Everything I got on man, my bitch bought this. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Like that's <laughs> how I came in the game, nigga. Your baby mother got, bought me this shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I came in the game. Yeah. So the check that raw, the check and the opportunity that Ross gave me, mm -hmm. fuck rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. Ross a real nigga, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I, I knew that I knew that I was signing the MMG, but I knew that MMG was powered by Atlantic. Yeah. And and like, Rose was basically like, look, welcome to the mob. Mm -hmm. Play it smart. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, play it smart. Yeah. I, 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 like maybe one day down the line in a documentary or something, I'm gonna really tell the world what Rose told me mm -hmm. when I signed my deal, right? Because yeah. everybody wanna know what Rose told me, but I think that's for better on down the line. Okay. But to go back to what you said, man, yeah. like he gave me that 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 check and that opportunity. That's is is the bond is unbreakable. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like we may not agree on everything. Mm -hmm. No two men agree yeah, yeah, on that's, every single that's, thing. That's regular, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But I'd be lying if I say he could do wrong in my eyes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. that's my nigga. Yeah. Did you? As far as like like musically, did you um? Y'all talk any music or or like like yo? I, oh, got, I got some shit that when I was at Philly at the, when we was in yeah, together yeah. in Philly at the Meek Show, mm -hmm. um, we talked about everything, bro. Okay. We talked about everything. You know, me and Ross still got unreleased music. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm sure. saying? And um, sure. Like Ross got a closet full of hard drives of music, bro. Damn. Like I ain't lying, bro. Damn. You know, and 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 I'm talking about years ago before these new age, uh, small hard yeah, drives. Hard drive. shit. Yeah, he got yeah. the old, he got Ross got music, yeah. bro, and. 
he got notepads and notepads of lyrics, bro. You feel me? So he got a lot of music. Mm -hmm. And he just like me. His music is his baby. Yeah. Outside of his kids, I don't think there's nothing Ross loved more than his music. And he loved cars, mm -hmm. women, yeah. fine fabrics, yeah. uh, delicate food and yeah, all that. But the way he, how he feel about his music is yeah. very particular. And I feel him. So, you know me, I'm a young nigga. I just be want to drop that shit. Yeah, yeah, man, exactly. what's up? Like, man, let me drop got, that shit. You gotta go through like the scene <laughs> yeah, and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, ball. let me drop that shit. Cause right. you know, on some real shit, you got so much music, you probably forgot about this joint. You play that. this. You be smoking. Oh boy, I forgot about <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah. I be mean, like, exactly. Got so much music. Yeah. <laughs> let me drop this shit. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? So yeah, we spoke, we always speak about music, man. Yeah. And um, we definitely got some shit coming up, man. Like, yeah. you know. Um, I think he he on like two of my upcoming projects, okay. man. But I, I, we got so much music, bro. I'd be wanting to drop Definitely. that shit. I, I miss back in the day. You know when like let's say somebody drop a crazy song like Wayne, like even that like that future uh, that remix. Yeah, it's like y'all gonna just hop on it, throw it on SoundCloud, yeah, YouTube. YouTube. It's like ain't no ain't no politics, ain't yeah, no labels. Yeah, like yeah, no, we yeah, just yeah. dropping this shit yeah. for the streets for 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 everybody that don't want to. And I know now it's like because the streamers they 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 gotta. Be more particular. Like, yeah, it's I, funny. I, I, I it's real, days, it's real funny with yeah. the streams now because a lot of my freestyles, like I used to do back in the day, a lot of my freestyles, I would leave the original hook on them. Mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I used to, because yeah. it's like, still not, like a song type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when I used to do my freestyles, I used to always say, I want to rap like how I would sound if I was on this record. Yeah. So you know, a lot of those freestyles I did, I kept the original hook because the hook hard. Yeah, Sometimes facts. you don't need to redo a motherfucker mm -hmm. hook. Sometimes you just need to put some bars on that bitch and make a nigga feel how you will exactly. slide on that bitch. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? So I come home, all this streaming shit going on. A couple of my freestyles been taken down. Or mm -hmm. I swear to God, I don't know how YouTube did it. A couple of them got taken down, and mm -hmm. a couple of us up there in the hook gone. Oh, shit. I was like, what the fuck? That yeah. shit fucked me up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I understand how that shit go, but I miss them days too. Yeah, nah, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. now, I, I know you um came out doing Future Show too. Yeah. Um, of course, in DC, your home crowd. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. I know the love is crazy. Absolutely. You be performing it from your home crowd. Mm -hmm. People ain't seen you in a while. Just is that four is that years since that, I touched the stage of that? Is that something too, that I know? Man. Is that something that you miss, especially like touching the stage? Because I feel like live performance to me. As as a, as, a, as a fan of just music, yeah. live performance is like that's the epitome of really real that's artistry. The art. for real. That's the art. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And because like that's why I love shows because mm -hmm. I started rapping in open mics. So mm -hmm. that's why I love shows. So you know, I started out rapping in a room like this, the mm -hmm. open mic. Like I might be at the back of that wall right there, and yeah. the, the crowd might be. We might be in this one room. Facts. You know what I'm saying? The gay like that sight fulfilled, but mm -hmm. you know the DJ spinning our record. Everybody take turns to say they record yeah. network, and you know see who got the best record in this Hell motherfucker. Yeah. So boom, as far as that performance, right? Like walking out to, on that stage like that, seeing that crowd, Capital One Arena sold out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real nigga, but I walked out that bitch like it was my show. <laughs> yeah, you should. For real. <laughs> I walked out that bitch like it was my 15 minutes of five. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How many joints they gonna let us do? That. You know what I'm saying? Walked out that mm -hmm. bitch and, um, you know, that was that was the uh, first time the city got to see me on a, on a on a big stage of that magnitude in four years. Yeah. That was a beautiful feeling. It, it, it meant everything to me, man. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Future. Everybody who made that happen, man. Shout out to Future, ESTG, you know, Schmirt, all of them. They're my homies, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, real street niggas who just show love state to state. Right. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We might not have time to snatch a picture. We might not have time to do a video drop yeah. for the album, but shit, nigga, come through, nigga. You know, your city, nigga, come turn up, nigga. I'm gonna let you rock out two of them, go cut up. You feel that's me? Like, it. that's always a, a beautiful yeah. feeling. And, that, and that's, and that's, just showing that love and that unity within the, I mean, the, mm -hmm. the genre, the sport of hip hop. Man. Absolutely. And the day this shit, the family. This year we celebrating the 50th year of hip hop. Like, okay. It, it's, I didn't it, know that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's so much, so much legacy over that past 50 years. Okay. And now, like, the next 50, gotta we gotta take that torch, keep that shit lit. Absolutely. And at the same time, learn from whatever whatever knowledge that we got from the past and keep moving that shit forward. Absolutely. Yeah, so I, 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 I totally agree. Yeah. So I feel like that's uh, just keeping that unity. That's a big part. I, I totally know. Agree. I know you recently just dropped art. Yeah. Uh, during April, um, I feel like that was, that was a quick little warm up. Yeah, yeah, just quick just, little warm up. I just, I just I, since I've been home, I tried like four or five joints, just mm -hmm. warming up, just getting my feet back warm. And yeah. um, you know, 
I really don't have control. Well, I ain't gonna say I don't have control over what I drop, but yeah. I'd just be recording shit and I'd be shooting shit and we collectively as a team figure out what we drop. So exactly. yeah, art was one of the um records off the uh, upcoming project. Okay. When when uh you got a date for the project yet? Now yeah, it's just the early, June. June. Okay. I'm shooting okay. for June, you know what okay. I'm saying? We shooting for June. The record, the album's supposed to been dropped. Yeah. I'm I'm ready. You know, but us as a team, we, we, we collectively make certain decisions. Yeah. And like I said, we might not all agree, yeah, but yeah. we got a vision and a goal and we got to work together to achieve that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But if it was up to me, bro. <laughs> Drop them shit like fly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to Gucci man these people. Yeah, I'm facts. talking about Gucci man and 060 people. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to, hey, man, I'm trying to drop, man. I've been yeah. gone. I've been laid up in a cell mm -hmm. for four years, man. What am I waiting for? You know what I'm saying? I always ask that, but you got to see the vision as a team, and I, I'm, yeah. I'm a team player, so uh, I, I stand firm. Yeah, definitely. Which, which I know you say it's dropping in June. You know, that's right. That's like right before the summer. Yeah. You know, the summertime, that's where everybody outside. Yeah, yeah. If you're if you from the East Coast, you got your motherfucking yeah. bubble coats, yeah, beats on. Yeah, yeah. You got your scullies, you got your ski mask. It's cold. Like Absolutely. Absolutely. So when the summer comes, the music got to match that shit. Absolutely. They got to match the vibe, the weather. Yeah. So you, you feel like that the shit you're dropping really going. Man, my, my music matched the vibe of the trenches regardless, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to match the summer in the trenches and when it get back breezy again, mm -hmm. when it get when it, when it get back cold again, it's still going to match the vibe of the right. trenches because I, I, I embody the trenches. Yeah. I embody real niggas and, and bad bitches worldwide. That's what I can relate to. Mm -hmm. I can't speak about nothing I don't know about. I done met a lot of rich niggas, a lot of rich bitches, ate a lot of rich food, but... I represent who I represent, and I represent the trenches worldwide. You know what I'm saying? I represent real niggas. I represent stand-up men who don't tell. I represent stand-up men who take care of their children. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm just learning how to become that man, too. So I ain't, I ain't saying that right here saying that. I've been doing that. You know, I, I, I had to work to become a better father, and I'm still working to still be a better father yeah. and a better man. You know what I'm saying? But my music gonna match the vibe of the trenches regardless. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you can't, you might not like it, but you can relate to my music. Mm -hmm. Or if you can't relate, you ain't live that lifestyle. Right. Okay. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Everything ain't for everybody, but yeah, yeah. my shit gonna drop the, nah, you know? Nah. The Listen, trenches, man. The, nah, trenches, exactly. the trenches, the trenches, the trenches. The thing about it is the, the relatability comes to comes from the storytelling. Absolutely. Like, like you know, mu music is a story. Mm -hmm. that's, that's why I got lyrics in it. Rap is rhythm and poetry. Yeah. You feel me? You yeah. rhyming, you telling the, telling the whole story with it. So. So, so one, one, I'm happy that you' gonna be dropping, Absolutely. dropping soon, dropping in June, yeah. and uh, we definitely can't wait for that project. Nah, man, I appreciate it, man. All right, now, as far as the project, since so you got, you got a title for the project, Nightmare on East Street Two. Gotcha, you, gotcha. You. Okay, now, now, what would you define success for you? In the, as far as like the the project, you just want to pull up the show and people just singing the song and, and they rapping every word, or is like a, like a specific like a goal for you want to achieve? Um. You know, I'm gonna keep it real, right? Like <clears throat> some some people in my team, like, they be mad at me when I say like, man, I don't rap for Grammys and I don't need to be the top one on the billboard and they be mad at me for saying shit like that. Mm -hmm. That's genuinely how I feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like what's meant for me is for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when people be like, What 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 do you what do you expect to happen with this album? I ain't the type of nigga to be like, yeah, man, this bitch gonna go number one. I need to be Grammy nominated. You feel me? I need two BET awards off this bitch. I need. Some, I ain't that type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, 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 what I hope to, what I hope to uh, achieve with this album is to gain more fans, to gain more listeners, and and, and to touch more people, man. Yeah. Touch more hearts, and you, you, you feel me? Like that's what I'm on. You know. Right. So, um, being Grammy nominated would be a huge honor. Winning one would be a huge honor, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but it's not, like, I, I ain't the type of nigga that put that on one of my goals to do. Yeah, I exactly. feel like if, if that shit get nominated, nom nom Grammy nominated, I'm gonna get that shit, you yeah. feel me? Like, yeah. I ain't chasing the Grammys. Right. You feel me? We all know the Grammys do what they want anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's another conversation. Yeah. So, but I ain't the type of nigga who really voiced my opinion that, man, let's boycott the Grammy. Yeah. I know what these people don't. Mm -hmm. Stop playing, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, in DC, we call them elementary games. Stop yeah. playing elementary games, man. <laughs> Y'all know what's up with the yeah. people who run that situation, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of artists who, like, man, um, it's a lot of artists who, like, man, how I ain't win a Grammy? Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. Stop playing. Y'all know the people do what they want, man. Stop playing elementary games. Don't even ask. Yeah, you know why? You ain't got it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. it is what it is. So, 
as far as goals, man, I just want to reach the people, man. I want to reach the trenches, man. Mm -hmm. and, and I just want to be one of those top artists that that can speak to the to the to the uh, speechless. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The ones who ain't really got a voice, man. I just want to speak for them and, and let the world know that we good people. We fly. We get money. We fuck bitches too. We just ain't. Uh, you know, we, we just ain't got with the the most of uh, the poverty in the world got. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a fact. Yeah. Right? That's a big opportunity. And, and lastly, before we get up out of here, how has your definition of success changed? Like when you first started, and what? How do you define success now? Man, you know, I used to think uh, being famous was successful. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like when you grow up, everybody want to be famous. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just want to be known. You want to be that nigga. Sure. To the niggas and bitches, you just want to be known. To the old ladies, to the little kids, you just want to be known. Mm -hmm. I used to think fame was successful. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm pretty sure any man to tell you this, I just found out that being a great friend, a great family member to your family mm -hmm. is, is what I consider success. Being a great parent to your kids, man. Yes. Being the best father that is something that a son can have or a best father that a daughter can have yeah. is successful. You know what I'm saying? I don't necessarily feel like wealth makes you successful. Yeah. I feel like what you do with your wealth is what makes you successful. Be you purpose. know what I'm saying? Like any nigga can get some money, any nigga can go broke. Mm -hmm. You know, so what, what, what you choose to do with your bag is, is what makes you successful. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's a lot of successful people out here who don't wear diamond, Study okay. APs and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. It's, it's it's firefighters out here who's successful, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Uh, I be going to my little rich bitch house, yeah. and I hate going there. You know you know why? Right. So many motherfucking police live around there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. That and I keep thinking they are saying, man, 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 I ain't you know they pay these motherfucking police that much, man. These niggas is in mansions, man, yeah. with they motherfucking police car mm -hmm. in the driveway. You see what I'm saying? So. Any nigga can get some money, man. It's, it's lawyers out here who's successful. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I, I feel like taking care of your family and, and 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 being somebody that being somebody that you can be counted on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like nice. I could count on you to pick your daughter up. I got something to do today. I need you to pick my niece up today. Nice. Or that's successful to me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Being a good uncle, I feel like that's success to me. You know what I'm saying? Because my my nieces and nephews love me, and they know that. Man, when it come to Uncle Trail, Uncle Trail gonna bust his ass for us. Yeah. You feel me? I stand up. I stand up. That's real shit, bro. At the end Absolutely. of the day, it all, it all boils down to our character. It all boils down to how we treat others, especially the people that's our loved ones, people that's close to us, Absolutely. our close friends. People that and it, and not to cut you off, your mm -hmm. character your character counts to how you treat people who you don't know, too. That's a fact. Total strangers. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 that, that plays a huge part into who you are mm -hmm. as well, how you treat motherfuckers that you don't absolutely know. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Uh, 1,000%. Now, mm -hmm. Trail, I definitely appreciate the conversation. Absolutely. Now, we man, definitely, looking forward, you, definitely looking forward to that Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street too. Nightmare on East Street. Night, nightmare on East, East Street, Street man. From East Street to 1600 block of East Street, 1513 yes, Benton Road, Northeast Washington, D.C., man. You know what I'm saying? That's the Nightmare on East Street. You feel me? Gotcha. That's the, that's the what they call it, the sequel or a prequel or what yeah, they yeah. call it? Sequel. That's the sequel, sequel to yeah. Nightmare on East Street, man. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Right. Nightmare on East Street 2 coming, man. Yes, sir. Now, mm -hmm. now looking to that camera, look actually you looking at this camera. Okay. You know what I mean? I know people people know who you are, but tell them where to find you on IG, uh, uh, Twitter, Twitch, social, hey, yeah. anywhere, any social yeah. platform. All the social media, anywhere, I got. do your thing. I don't even know all that shit, man. But look, <laughs> it's the kid Fat Trail. You already know what it is, man. The king of the north, man. I am DC, man. You can follow me on Twitter at Fat Trail. That's at F A T T I -E L, and my Instagram is Fat underscore Gleesh, man. You know what I'm saying? So at F A T underscore G L E E S H, man. You already know what it do, man. Yes, sir, Ziggy Jones, Fat Gleesh.